Hi there, just popping on to do a quick video on how to print your own labels at home and do your own designs on Canva. Um, this is as a result of me making up some small labels for one of my upcoming classes and I just thought I'd give you a quick video on how to do it. So this is the kind of thing we're looking at. Oh, can you see that? So what I've got here is a sheet of sticky labels, but I've created my own image on Canva um, and uploaded it to then print out on my printer at home. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. You can either use something like um, Avery, which I haven't used as yet, but I will at some point and do another video on that. Or you can just buy some sticky labels on Amazon and then create your images on Canva and then upload it, to, download it and then print it on your printer. So that's the one that I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, you can do pretty much any size. Now, I'm, I'm designing labels for tins because I'm just doing some little products for our classes. And normally, I would order my labels professionally, but I just wanted a few, so I'm doing them myself. Um, so let me just share my screen, and then we will crack on. Okay. Oh, we want that one. No, we don't. <laughs> Here we go. Is that the right screen? Right, so hopefully you can see my screen now. Oh, we're in Canva at the moment. Okie dokie. So on Amazon, if you are looking for um, sticky labels, you just need to search for the size that you want. Now, I know that for, for example, my big tins here, I need a 60 mil size label. So that's the one that I'll do today. As luck would have it, I've ordered labels, but they haven't arrived. But I can still design it and show you how to do it. Um, so I've put in here 60 millimeter round blank sticky labels. And you'll see that there's quite a lot of different options. Um, these ones here, the ones with 12 on, are all the 60 mil ones, you can get 12 to a sheet. Now, the first thing you need to look for is a supplier where you can get a template from for Canva so that you can line up your imagery. Now, most of them do it, to be fair. It's quite straightforward. Um, some will only give you templates in PDF form. Some will do it in a PNG form, which is a much better option for Canva. So the, really, just have a quick look. Um, this one here is Town Sticks. Now, I've got already got that open, actually. I know from Town Sticks, they do um, PNG templates, which is much, much easier. But you can see here, oh, no, they don't. They do PDF. I'll use that one because it's a really good way for me to show you how it all works. So here you can see it says PDF and Microsoft Word print templates provided. So what I would suggest you do is order your labels, and then you just go to the website where your, your manufacturer is. So in this case, it's Town Sticks. Um, and what I'm looking for is an A4 round 12. And I've already found it just to save a bit of time. Now, although it said on Amazon that they only do PDF and Word, they actually do do PNG as well. But what I will do is show you how to convert a PDF to a PNG, just in case you find a template which is in that format and you don't know how to use it. So we'll just download this one now. Right, I'll just leave it at that name. And then we'll go to, so on Google, there's loads of free resources where you can just convert PDFs to PNG. So just find one, we'll just go to the top one. Upload files, find your file that you want to upload. And then it's done it for you here. Download. And if I go to download, it automatically zips it. I don't know why, because there's only one image in there. So we'll go to extract all. Extract. And it's now in a PNG format, which is what I need to upload it to Canva as a template. So yeah, if you can't get a PNG, it's, don't worry. It's easy to convert it to a PNG. So that's my template. That's currently in my downloads file. So what I'm going to do now is we'll close that down because we don't want confusion. <clears throat> Let's go straight to Canva. Okay, so my first thing I need to do is create my, my label design. Now, although I've got um, Canva Pro so I can do a custom size, you don't need to have um, a specific size if you don't want to. So let me just see if I put in round label what it comes up with. Label circle. It's come up with two inches by two inches. Um, it's not the right size, but that's not a problem. It's fine. I'll show you how we get around that. 
I don't want you to feel that you need to have a pro version of Canva because you absolutely don't. So this is giving us very helpfully a nice template to use here. So I'm going to start just designing my label. Um, so if I, I've already done the ones I need, so we'll just um, make one which is going to say, I don't know, is, we'll do it as a face mask. So what I'll do is I personally like to have a bit of a frame around the outside and I don't tend to use um, templates for this sort of thing. So I, what I've done with my other ones is I've gone to elements um, and then you can search for what you want. So should we put a holly frame and see what comes up? So here we go. It's come up with, because it's for my Christmas workshops, it kind of makes sense. Um, would that one work? That one would work. Um, this is a free version as well. So anything that's got the little pro on, you won't be able to use unless you've got uh, the pro version. So just be mindful of that. And how I do this is make sure that I keep it um, well within the border. I don't actually like that because there's not enough room for me to type in the middle. Um, Christmas garland. They are all pros. Um, let's keep it simple. Christmas garland round. They're all pro as well. You can filter it out with this by just going to the filters and then putting in free. Oh. And it will come up with just the free ones. That will do. So choose your frame if that's what you're using. I'm going to put it in the middle there and just make it a little bit bigger, but make sure it's well inside the circle because what I want to do is just leave myself a little bit of leeway. Perfect. That will do. Um, and then I, what did I say I'm making? Oh, facial, facial um, um, mask, face mask. So then I'm just going to add a little bit of text. Oops. You can never do it when you're being videoed. <laughs> right, come here in the middle. Let's straighten you up. Um, now, I am um, for this using a Pacifico is something that my printer introduced me to. It's quite a nice font and it's a free one on Google. So you can download it and then upload it as a font if you want to. But there's plenty of free ones in Canva anyway. So zingy, orange, <coughs> oh, can't spell. <laughs> it's early face mask and then it's going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to split that in the middle there. And then just to, not because I would do this because it, it's not a very good design at the moment, but just so that you can see how I would do it. I would also put my logo in there. So I've already know I've got my logo uploaded. Um, and these dark ones here, you can't see them, but because they've got no background, they're PNGs. Um, so I'll put my new logo in there. So this is my dog and I logo, which is my product brand. Uh, Zingy orange face mask. And then we'll just pop another little bit of text on there, which says handmade, I think. I'm going to keep that in a different font. Make sure it fits in. Perfect. There we go. <clears throat> so this is a very, very basic example of a label. Um, let's just call it face mask. <clears throat> and then we're going to download it. So when you download this, you want to download it as a PNG, but with a transparent background. Um, now, this is a pro version. So it's, in fact, no, I won't do it with a transparent background because I want you to be able to see um, how it works without the pro version. So we'll just download it as a normal PNG. That's that. So that's in my downloads. And I'm going to go to Canva. And now I'm going to create an A4 um, sheet for my labels. A4 document portrait. Just make it a little bit bigger. So for this, you need to upload the template that you downloaded for your labels. Hopefully that makes sense. 
So I know that I just saved that, didn't I, to my um, downloads folder on my, my laptop. So I'm going to pop that on there, upload it. And I'm also going to upload the um, label that I created as well. So they're both sat in my Canva for me. Right. Why has it not uploaded the... Right. Uh, uh, it's... That's a word, that's a PDF, that's why it hasn't uploaded it. I need the PNG version. Right, so they're both sat in there. Right, so first thing I need to do is put my background template on. Now, this is only temporary. We take it off again before we download it, but it just gives you the guideline of where you're going to put your image. And then I'm going to start putting my image in here. Now, this is where not having the transparent background becomes a bit more of a challenge because I need to bring my template forward so that it sits on the top. So I'm going to put it on the forward and then I'm going to make it transparent. So if you've got Canva Pro, you'll find this much easier to do because you won't have to worry about all this. Right, and then I'm going to push and push it. Right, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. position it backward, one, right, here we go. So it's there, I can see it, and I can make sure that my image sits in the middle. Now, because I haven't downloaded it as a transparent PNG, I've still got the background around the outside, so you won't be able to see all of your outline, but you'll be able to see enough to know that you're sat within your circle. Okay, so I've got a bit of the circle there, I've got a bit of the circle there, and a bit of the circle there. So I can know a little bit more, actually. I can go a bit more on that. If you need to have it a little bit clearer, just make it bigger. Okay, so if you have pro version, it is so much easier. But I just, it is doable, so I don't want you to feel that you have to. And once you've got it lined up, and I can see it's within the circle, I can just duplicate it, do it again on here duplicate it and it will do it for you on this one it doesn't always line it up but it looks like it has on that occasion and then duplicate it again and again until you've got all of them done I won't do all of them because you'll be sat here all day watching me, but that's enough to give you a good idea. And then what I'm going to do is just highlight all of it and just make my images a bit more transparent so that I can see that they're definitely in the lines. And they are, so that's good. So just go backwards and backwards to get rid of that. Oops. And then, once you've done all of them, you're all lined up and you can get rid of your background um, template. So just click the background and it takes it off for you. And then you can download that as a PDF for printing. I, for home <coughs> use, I don't worry too much with, with this. I'll just leave it as it is. Um, Sorry, what am I doing? Um, 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 I'm sharing it and printing it. So download as a PDF. Download. And then it's sat in my download, so I can now print it. Now, this is the one thing where you'll need to do a little bit of tweaking to make sure it is right for your printer. I found, so this is my home printer. I haven't, I'm at work at the moment, so... I haven't got the same printer here, but um, what I did, let me change that to colour, it was here with the scale, I found that if I did it to fit to paper or did it to fit printable area, it just moved it slightly. Um, let me show you. Oops, no, we don't want to do that. So you will have to do a bit of playing around to do what, work out what works for your printer. Because you can see when you change it, it just tweaks it slightly. 
I found with mine, I put it on default and it kept it true and within the lines. So all my labels stayed uh, true with the template and they were all within the sticky labels. So that's what worked for me. Obviously, there's no guarantees that will work for you. So you'll just need to play around with it a little bit. But what I did was just print it onto a plain A4 sheet of paper and then just held it up against my sticky labels to make sure that it was lined up OK. So hopefully that will help you if you just need a few labels to print out. As I say, I know Avery do something very similar, um, and I will um, try that out and put a video on about that as well, so you can then choose whichever works best for you. Okie dokie, hope that's helped.